Good morning. It is summer and it's today is June 16th and we're going to be doing another garden tour. It is marked in my calendar that it's the summer solstice so I wanted to go ahead and do another garden tour and then a before and after of any pruning that I do. So let's go ahead and get started. Everything's been growing really wonderfully for the summer. So excited about all this green we have going. Everything's just taken off. Starting over here, we have a banana uh, that my father-in-law gave me. I'm not sure what type it is. And then a Valencia Pride Mango. However, this one's going to my father for Father's Day. I had pruned it so that it could branch off and it's doing exactly what I wanted. And it's looking really good. <clears throat> This is one of my mangoes up front, called the Alfonso mango. I've done the same thing last time, pruned it, and it's branching off nicely as well into three little um, offshoots, are the scaffolding branches, and then I have a gangly Meyer, improved Myers lemon that goes up pretty tall. Everything it's done during the summer. Key lime right next to it. Also pretty tall. It's probably, I mean, if I'm any measure, more than five feet. Okay, that's a terrible measure. Anyway, so right here we have, I'm gonna have to check the tag. This one is a Valencia orange. I wasn't expecting it to do anything this year, but it does have one little orange growing right there. Just pretty cute. Next to it is my blood orange tree. It's kind of falling, water falling forward right there. Navel orange. This one is an Awari Satsuma mandarin tree. It has some fruit. It's also kind of stretching downward though. And then one of my older fruit trees, this is a clementine mandarin. Very bushy. Coming back to this other side is a Nam Dok Mai mango that I got from a local nursery. Next to Alfonso. Which actually means that the first mango we saw was the Carabao mango or the Filipino mango. I actually bought this one off of Etsy. Unfortunately, it looks like one of the branches broke, but it has plenty of other branches coming. Nectarine has this one branch that's growing completely outward from where it was pruned, and a second branch right there. Star White Nectarine and then this one I will have to check the flavor top Next 
to that, we have our two plums, Santa Rosa on the left, Methley on the right. In the corner, a super Haas avocado, next to a regular Haas avocado. And then a honey crisp apple that's frankly been struggling ever since I pruned it and it keeps getting aphids. Here I kind of have a little seedling area, area that gets shade for some of the day in the morning and the afternoon. We have tomatoes and greens and zucchini up there. Now, I did get another Huddy Crisp apple, and this one's doing much better. Branching out. Fuji apple right next to it. And then behind it is a Anna apple back there. And then this one is a coral champagne cherry tree back here. Back to the front, we have a Siskina cherry tree. A Barbados cherry. And then here we have some peaches. This is a blushing star peach. Indian free peach. And then behind there is a Babcock peach. And then my Tropic Snow peach. And this one had fruit the last time we saw it. Um, we had actually had the fruit fall off during a heavy rainstorm. So it was quite small, but we did get to eat it. And it was pretty good. And then this is a Lappin's cherry tree. And I was actually quite excited because we had some leaf cutter bees come and visit. As you can see, those little perfect circles, those are taken by leaf cutter bees so that they can make their little nest. So I thought that was just so precious and exciting that they chose my tree's leaves. And then we have some strawberries hanging here. My crepe myrtles, ebony and ivory, and lantana and marigolds here to help encourage the pollinator. And if you hear any meowing in the background, it's my cat wanting to come outside. And there she goes. <laughs> Feist. All right, she just really needed to eat some grass. Moving on. Here we have my original strawberries and my berry area. And some watermelon growing down there. This is a Crimson Cross watermelon. We have a little gangly looking watermelon right there. And I see ants. We had another watermelon um, that was much bigger than that and the ants had burrowed a hole. So unfortunately I took that watermelon off and I threw it away. And so I've been applying dimatiaceous earth. However, I had watered. So I'm gonna have to reapply some. 
Then we have some baby watermelons growing down here. And over there. Pretty cute. <laughs> Pretty exciting as long as the ants don't get to it again. All right, coming off of this side, I have my two heritage raspberries. I do need to support that one on the stake. So they are the same variety. And then I got this raspberry from Lowe's. And let's see, it is a Meeker raspberry right here. To the left of that, I have a Mars grape that I need to re-support on that bamboo stick as well. And then right here is a Concord grape. And it didn't do anything for a long time, but it's alive, so that's good. I was actually worried, but it is under warranty from Stark Bros, so. And I'm not sure if you can see, I got a little web here. This is our blackberry. We have already picked and eaten everything we could off of it. It was really delicious. This is the Navajo. And then next to it is the Notches from my local nursery. Coming around are the blueberries. Tiff blue on the left side. Misty right here. Let's see. Jewel. And then a powder blue, which is kind of cascading down that way. And that's everything.